to another episode of a Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT. Nine on my explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am. We're playing that man twenty one boy. Yeah, dude, you're eating vegan corn dogs. I am eating vegan corn dogs, Jonas. Vegan corn dog nuggets, I should say. Mm, they are pretty good. Yeah, I, I tried one. I will. Uh, I will dabble in your veganism when uh, when you're willing to share the vegan sustenance. And uh, the key is you can't look at it. <laughs> the key is you can't taste it. <laughs> 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 the key is if you want it to taste like hot dog, even though hot dog is a pretty awful flavor. You know what? Okay, John. So this is this is the real ish right here. Okay, I'm I'm into real things. All right. So fat. That? Salt. Mm -hmm. What else, Jonas? And carbs are amazing. Yes. And uh, there is no like substitute for those things that really like comes close and is healthy. Uh, no. Like because they can make like vegan food can taste amazing. It tastes really good, but they either have to pack it with a lot of salt in a different form, a lot of fat from a different form or like carbs from a different form i guess carbs really doesn't have a flavor necessarily oh that was a long ball dude got it yeah dude and that's i oh yeah oh, odell has the team today um yeah dude wait what's this? what are they doing uh oh okay well <laughs> oh jonas was us last night all right <laughs> We did. Remember we did that? I do. It that. was fun. I mean, you piggybacked me around the complex. <laughs> right, dude. I don't, Everybody's down complex. I yeah. don't know why you were naked, but I mean. It's easier. <laughs> 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 but I think it's like, look, why is it that we, as a humanity, we can come up with all these different things? We can cure diseases. There's a vaccine that will be out this October. Or COVID-19, Jonas. Supposedly. It's happening. It was promised to us anyway. Yeah, because every promise the government makes comes through, 100%. All right, so wait, hold on. But we cannot come up with something that tastes like a burger that ain't made from a burger that doesn't cause me to get big thighs. Yeah, like, like why can't they come up with chick something that reminds me of a chicken wing that has no calories? Like, like if I could eat faux chicken wings and they had no calories, I would eat all the faux chicken wings because I just like the crunch, the oh. like, the, it's just like I like that aspect. That's like yes. why I like uh, chips. It isn't so much that I like potato chips that much. I like the salty crunch. Exactly, dude. And it's just like. I don't, I don't know. I always thought that, uh, like, you remember when they had, like, the, uh, Al not Alka-Seltzers, but the Listerine breath strips? Yeah, 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 yeah. I always thought that that was, like, the next, that was the next evolution Yeah, like that, like, flavored like foods. Because if I could just put, like, if I could just put, like, uh, like, Funyun-flavored strips of, yeah, like, little... Like, yeah, dude, I feel you. Little fav flavor acid drops. <laughs> my favorite gel tabs. <laughs> just like, just put a little postage stamps worth of freaking funny and flavor on my tongue. Yo. Well, that would um, that would help stoners with the munchies tremendously. Because a I lot of times so. I've realized people that eat a lot when they're stoned, they don't want the food; they want the flavors. Yes. Beakers are intensified. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, like, you know, like, oh, dude, popsicles are great. There's a lot of flavors. Clear throat. <laughs> Check. Totally unassuming. Um, yeah, Jonas, I agree. I agree. I agree. I mean, I'm sure you. My thing is like, I just don't understand like why nobody has put money behind this research. It seems like obviously they're trying more because vegan burgers are tasting amazing, but yet. It's, they're still terrible for they're you. They're still terrible, dude. It's like, yeah, you're not harming an animal, but it's still like it's not good for you whatsoever. Well, and that's and here and that's the uh, and that's the messed up part is people think that they're eating healthy, and you're like, just because it's not animal, vegan doesn't mean healthy. Vegan exactly. means non-animal, and people confuse that. Yeah, because like it's. I've had people be like, I just don't understand why I'm so fat. I'm vegetarian. Mother effer eating a cake, eating a whole cake is bad for you whether it's vegetarian or not. 
You know what I mean? Like, you can get fat. <laughs> Who has said this to you? <laughs> I've, I've changed my diet to vegetarian. I just can't lose any weight. Duh. You're eating cake all day, dude. Of course. Oh, you're talking about her. I don't. No, you made a female voice. I know who you're talking about now. No, you don't. Yeah, maybe I, I don't. I don't think you do, but um, no, there has been. There has <laughs> been. Somebody really said that. Oh, dude. It's, it's real. There was a, there. Yeah, I don't want to name names or whatever, but like, there's people like like you know they would always complain about how they couldn't lose weight, and they'd be like they would try. I'm just gonna let you do your thing. I'm not gonna tell you what you're doing wrong because you should recognize that if you sit down and try to eat a whole cake, <laughs> that it's gonna you're gonna get fat. Like it's a cake. Like <laughs> say your name backwards so that they won't know, but I will. No, I'll just, say, I'll just tell you off camera. Say, say the name backwards, dude. They'll never figure it out. No, I won't. Say, say a you pal know what else? You know, out if I don't say a palindrome of the name so that I can chart. <laughs> oh, it was. Wait a minute. <laughs> Her name was Pop Tart, Pop -tart dude. Yeah. No, uh, but no, people is I'm in vegetarianism with with low calorie and being healthy. It sounds like the people who drink a diet coke and be like, "Yo, it's a diet coke." Right. Well, at least you're not getting the calories from that. It's still not good, though. No, it's not good for you. And that kind of like, why haven't we discovered like we've discovered all these different like ideas with food and food and basically since the beginning of humankind. As long as there's been humans, we've been eating food. We've already figured out how to turn, like, simple things like grain into something as as a... Yet we have not discovered, like, something, like a substance that either speeds up metabolism as you eat it. Like, okay, okay, so here's my thing. There's this thing called xylitol. Are you familiar? It's going to say push. It is not a supplement. But it is a chemical compound that they put uh, some candy. At uh, least I guess some people find that's why it's not more popular than it is. But xylitol is who uh, food eat it. It actually assists, quote unquote, in cleaning your teeth. Oh, really? Yes. Whereas everything else you eat is just to kill your teeth. Xylitol actually assists in cleaning your teeth. It's it's like by a margin, and obviously it's not like uh, a replacement for like brushing or whatever it is. But still, it's like you could see that somebody put the work forward. They're like, hey, look, we found something that you can eat that's actually beneficial to you. Right, right, and there has to be more of those out there. That's why somebody in a lab do something, dude. If you work in a lab, you listen to this video, you're like, yo, yo, dynamite. We How can on I that. help? This is yeah, how you can help. This, yeah, the is how you can help. Make something that's gonna make me skinny when I eat it, and make it taste like uh, Reese cups. In fact, make it a Reese cup that I eat and it makes me skinny. <laughs> As a matter of fact, in fact, just, just make it a Reese cup. Yeah, just give me a skinny part, haha, <laughs> kitty. I just want a Reese yeah. cup. Thanks. <laughs> if you can't think, just Reese cups, please. Thank you. TNT Dynamite out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Is that the end episode? <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> Pleasure. What do you What do you f with? Uh, chicken wings. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> nacho I don't cheese. Want to like nacho this. cheese Doritos. Oh, you do like the nacho cheese. And uh, cheese its Like, those are two things that, like, I know my own limit and I won't buy because what if they're in the house, they will be gone. See, and I don't, I don't know why you just like regular, you just like regular brand cheese its too. Yeah, the actual Cheez-It brand. Because like if those. they aren't Cheez-It brand, they're called something else. They'll What's be the? Cheese Nibs or something like that. <laughs> oh, oh, just, yeah. Right. Like, oh, the OGs, dude. But, like, how do you... I'm, look, if I put it in my mouth, chew it. All right, <laughs> so I used to have this weird ritual with Cheez-Its. And this is going to sound kind of gross, dude, but... I you chew effort. them up and make Cheez-It chew it scent? <laughs> I, I kind of make like a Cheez-It cud. <laughs> and put them back in between two no, cheeses. No, what? You, then you, you make a cheese it cut and then put it between two cheeses to make a cheese it cut cheese it sandwich. Oh, you've done this. <laughs> I okay, so I've never gone that far. But you make the cut. But you make a valid point. So because like for some reason cheese it cut like just maintains cheese it flavor. Yes. And if you're not familiar to what a cud is, we're talking about the act of chewing the cheese it up until the point where it is basically a paste. Yeah, yeah. And like, then maintaining it in your mouth. So when I say cud, like I'm, I make the like cud. Like a cow, like chewing on grass yeah. and keeping it in their mouth. Yeah. So cud. I would, it was almost like I treated cheese it like a. Uh, Chaw? Like, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> You would cheese it, you get the cheese it cud, and then you just like feed off of the cud. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jesus are so good. <laughs> it's so gross. It's 
Cheez-Its are too good, dude. It's so cool. ish when you said take the cud and then put it between two Cheez-Its. Yo. <laughs> That's some alone in your room time type. <laughs> that is, yo. Because there's no way. There's no way. Ever see you with a box of cheese? It's like even bag. You like that bag of cheese? Oh, my ribs hurt, dude. <laughs> yes. Cheese and cut sandwiches, fam. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with it. That's some alone in your room. Shit. <laughs> there's nothing with it, oh. But you can't do that in public. No, dude. no, no. We all have stuff we do with food that we can't do. <laughs> Jesus is not a like public Like when you lick food. the plate clean, <laughs> you're like, nah, dude. Wait, no, <laughs> I'm joking. No, stop. Joking on that. Stuff. I think everybody's like taking their finger and wiped it through the sauce on the plate and been like, oh, but like, <laughs> just like, oh, you can't do that at the restaurant. <laughs> Look at you funny. Yeah. Lift the plate up like, ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely can't eat cheeses in public, man. If I... They catch me, you know, you want to have a conversation and like just some There's cheese. There's a like, big old cheese chalk cut in your mouth. cheese and paste falls out of my mouth. Yeah, we can't have that. Dude, yeah, it's like, those are like kind of my guilty. Like, I, sweets aren't really my, like, if I have sweets in the house, I will eat sweets. But I never crave sweets. I always crave salty, crunchy. <laughs> Fair enough. Isn't that for the most part? Oh, when I go to the grocery store, like, I'll buy, like, okay, I'm going to buy a bag of Doritos. But I have the expectation of these will be gone within a couple days, and I'm going to eat them, and that's okay. Every week, because I'm, like, <laughs> got to self-regulate, man. Right? I just, I just really hope that in the future, Jonas, you know, like, within the near future, so I'm alive to, like, see it or whatever. Um, I figure I got, like, at least another five or six years left. <laughs> On this planet, um, no, that's just, just six years. <laughs> you know, old age just sneaks up on you. Um, but I hope that they come out with something like the the like ice cream that doesn't have any calories. It has a pint of ice cream, and it has and it has three hundred calories in it. That's, that's really good. That's dude. pretty good. Yeah, yeah like and you don't other even have to feel that bad about eating that. a whole pint. I mean, it's I a lot know. of ice cream in one sitting, but you don't have to feel bad about it. I ain't gonna feel bad about it regardless. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> ain't gonna make me feel bad because I ate it. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Hey, it's the Bernie. <laughs> He's Bernie. You know, it's weekend at Bernie. I uh, I actually like went on a date with a woman one time yeah. and uh, we were dancing and yeah. she did that when we were dancing and I didn't know what to do. She put her head back and started like thrusting her shoulders like Bernie and I was like You should have just did it with her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you to do that, dude. That might be your soulmate if you yeah, just... I could have Bernied it, dude. Hit her with that same energy, you know? She's like, I just want a man to Bernie with me. That's yeah, it. <laughs> that's what you do. You go out and hit you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> Bleed on her. <laughs> <laughs> no, you call your lawyer. What the oh. are you talking about? <laughs> you get that bag, Jonas. You secure the bag. I should have called the lawyer on her when yeah. she was doing the burning. Yeah, I mean, if she had accosted you while she was doing it, yeah. She shoulder shoulder blasted me into the nose. Oh, my gosh, Jonas. I've, I've definitely never been in a fight with a woman. Nope. Barely ever been in a fight with a dude. Yeah. Not really interested. Not, fighter, in, not interested in that. I just don't care enough about anything to physically want to harm somebody, dude. Just don't. Uh, yeah. I'm not not really big on hurting people. <clears throat> yeah. Like, now, if, like, someone I cared about was being hurt, I would protect someone I cared about. But my main goal wouldn't be to hurt the person that was trying to hurt them. My goal would be mm. to subdue the person trying to hurt the person I care about. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I got a chance to punch someone. Let's try to maim them as much as I possibly can. No, it's like, let's disable them from hurting the person I care about. That's that's your paternal nature kicking in right there. Wait, fraternal? Paternal. Paternal is father. Paternal is parental. No, because fraternal is mother, right? I don't know, dude. I thought Nigga. we thought it was paternal was parent. Parental. That's parental. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> paternal is fatherly, I think, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's that paternal instinct kicking in, man. Nobody F with my, my pride or my, yeah, well, my young. It's just like, I mean, if we have... <clears throat> I mean, that was, I mean, it's like, it doesn't even go, have to go that deep. Like, I mean, when you talk about the time we were at the bar and that dude put his arm around my neck in an aggressive manner, like he was drunk and he were like, I almost jumped that dude. <laughs> like, yeah. I, was, I regret not hitting that. It was okay. <laughs> it's funny because like, if I were not intoxicated for that incident where that man just like got a little too handsy with you and nobody gets handsies with my Jonas. <laughs> right. but, me, but me, um, like I, if I were not 
under the influence of alcohol, I probably would have done something. But my, like, like I said, I know my limit, and I know when I'm drunk, I need to hesitate before I do anything. <laughs> like I have to plan out my steps to go to the bathroom. So the last thing I want to do is jump into a physical altercation. Right. You know. Right. Yeah. It was just. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was a rough night too, man. Holy crap! Oh yeah, man. we that was a lot that. of drinking that yeah. night. Yeah, and I could tell the dude that that was getting handsy was what had been drinking too, and that's why I yeah. kind of was just like, I, I was like, hey, you need to chill out, dude. Yeah, he was about to get these hands, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I didn't feel in danger, but the second that he squeezed a little too tight when well, he has armor on my neck, look, I was like, yeah, it yeah. goes from you being handsy to like. You're trying to knock me out and drag me into your car? Whoa. <laughs> this, this whole conversation, like, in a vacuum is sounding kind of wild. I'm just saying. Yeah, we, we sound a lot just of wild saying, conversations. I'm just saying. It sounded kind of wild. Like, this guy was getting handsy with me at the bar. And I was what happened was I was walking back towards the dance floor and with Dynamite drinks, and almost a guy put his arm in. around my neck like a chummy, like, hey, buddy. And then he started squeezing, no. and I looked at him like, why are you squeezing on my neck? And then no, he. Oh, no. Jonas, tell him about how he brushed against your your breasts <laughs> he brushed against jonas's breast all right they, they, were, they were very out there I ha it was my fault dude i had him and i was <laughs> it was my fault <laughs> you, you were dressed like a little hussy <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and then yeah, but it was. Oh. But yeah, no, dude. It's like it's like I think if any anyone that you give a crap about, like all you see something dude. potentially happening to him, you're just like, hey, that's my friend, that's my partner, that's my girlfriend, that's my husband, that's my whatever. It is absolutely nuts that even if we as men were to dress sexy, nobody would say we were asking for it. Right. right? That's the most ridiculous. That's why I think it's ridiculous when people say that about women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I went yeah. out to the bar in booty shorts and like a a, a, what like a crop top. I don't want to picture it. Like, Thank you. And so, like, yeah, no one would be like, "Oh, he's dressed sexy. He's asking for it." Like, <laughs> no one would say that. Why are you dress like that, Jonas? You're looking for a good time. Right, dude. Like, no one would say that. Come here, sweetie. But yeah, right. So then, if a girl does it, then people will think that's okay. I'm like, dude, you guys yeah, are trash. Yeah, that's some trash ish. It's just a way to. Uh, <laughs> try to uh, normalize it. A, a, a rape culture, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I was thinking about that word, Jonas, and how we used to use it back in the day. Rape culture? No, the word, the, the first part. The of R that. word? Yes. <laughs> and I was like, we don't use it anymore, and I haven't used it in like years, obviously. It's just fall out. Like, the, it was such, such like, just like a normalized part of speech, and, um, it's like, man, I don't even use it anymore. And I was like, I don't even know if I've heard it like in a long time. I uh, I saw it in in text form. <laughs> <laughs> like it's an ancient artifact. <laughs> yeah, in some sort of. I don't. It was. I was on Reddit the other day, and it was like in the comments, someone put some. It wasn't even in a negative. T it was like in a. It was like it was used properly, and I was just like, oh my god, they used the R word. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Because they don't it. even really call it that anymore. They call it like sexual assault. Yeah, oh well. Like they don't. That's I like. Mean, wow, that was. Did you see what happened? There? That was interesting. Um, but yeah, it's like it's like they don't even use it in the context of when that happens to a person. They they say something different. It's, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like you know. Sometimes I guess words fall out of favor, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh, he's sad, dude. Should we give him a hug? Uh, I don't, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. All right, FM well. in his clipboard. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We've already done that. This dude does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite Man. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. All right. For Jonas. T -T. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh,